in Investing 101 today, what to know about investing in a Roth IRA. For that, we are turning to John Beaver. Thanks so much for being here. It's great to be here, Angie. What are some steps to getting into a Roth IRA? There are a couple of ways of putting money into a Roth IRA. The first way is through a normal contribution. For this year, the limit is $6,000, $7,000 if you're age 50 or over. But that's not the only way. A second way is through a conversion where you move money from your IRA to your Roth IRA. A third way is to contribute to a Roth 401k. It's part of your Roth account. It's sitting in the Roth 401k. When you leave the money, you can roll that over into your Roth IRA. But there's another way, and this is through voluntary after-tax contributions. There are three ways to put money into a 401k. One is traditional pre-tax contributions. The second one is Roth contributions. But the third is voluntary after-tax contributions. And those have very little restrictions. They're voluntary, meaning that you can put money in, take it out at will. There's no tax when on the withdrawals because there's no break going in. You'll only pay tax on the gain when you take it out, but no penalties. You can take those voluntary after-tax contributions and you can actually roll those over to your Roth IRA and you can do that while you are still employed. So this is a way to backdoor fund and super fund your Roth IRA even if you don't qualify because you've been eliminated because your income is too high. What is the five-year rule on conversions? So when you convert money from an IRA to a Roth IRA, there's a five-year shot clock. And this is five calendar years. You have to leave the money in for five years before you can have the privilege of withdrawing that on a penalty-free basis on your contributions and a tax-free basis on the contributions. You only get tax-free treatment on your gain if you are over age 59 and a half. That shot clock, again, is in, starts with the calendar year that you start. So if you do a conversion in December, you actually have just a little over four years until that money becomes available. How much is too much of an income to contribute directly to a Roth? So for singles, you start to be phased out at $122,000 this year. For married, it's $193,000. And you can do things to bring down your adjusted gross income. It's based on adjusted gross income. So if you're contributing to your 401ks, you can actually bring down your income to possibly qualify for funding a Roth IRA. You say Roth IRAs are flexible. What do you mean exactly? We say that the Roth IRA actually has many personalities. It can be a, a retirement account used traditionally for retirement. It can also be used for college. And because your contributions are always available for withdrawal, no tax, no penalty. You can even use it as a short-term savings vehicle. You can use it as an escrow for property taxes. Use it to save up for your next car purchase. Use it for all sorts of short-term savings plans, including a vacation. You just have to leave your gain in, which is fine because the gain will be tax-free in retirement. John, thanks so much for coming on our show today. Thanks for having me. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.